Plaintiff Jasmine Bradshaw met the defendant a few years ago at a gay club, and Jasmine fell head over heels for her. Jasmine claims they dated for two and a half years, despite the fact that the defendant assaulted her and she ended up in the hospital. Jasmine is suing her ex for breach of contract and emotional distress. Defendant Alexis Flowers admits that she got into a physical fight with Jasmine, but insists she was only defending herself because Jasmine woke her up from a deep sleep by hitting her with a chair. Alexis is countersuing for an unpaid electric bill. Start with you. For your honor, um, just to give you a little background on me and Alexis, I met her a few years ago at a gay club. It was actually my first time ever going to the gay club, um, and we met through a mutual friend. Right out there, me and her just, I fell in love with her. Like, I fell head over heels for her. We were together for two and a half years. But I would say about a month ago, me and Alexis ended up breaking up because I found out she was cheating on me, which this was not the first time she cheated on me. She was actually scheduled to come on your show two years ago because her ex-girlfriend was suing her. Um, also, this is the ex-girlfriend that she just completely hated, couldn't stand. Now, the day before she was supposed to come here, I found out that she was still sleeping with this ex-girlfriend. We ended up getting to a physical altercation. Um, and she ended up getting arrested for assaulting me, and I ended up in the hospital because of this. I was heartbroken. Like, my feelings were so hurt because I had, you know, I loved this girl, and we were supposed to be best friends. So, you know, that's why I'm suing her for emotional dis... Emo I'm sorry. That's why I'm suing her for emotional distress because she actually proposed to me. She got one down on one knee and proposed to me, and asked me to marry her. This was February of last year where she did this. Um, and I just don't understand how you could possibly do that if you, you know that you're cheating on somebody. You know that you're lying to them, you're betraying them, and it's just, it put me through so much. Ma'am, you wanna address that? Um, Judge, well, when me and Ms. Bradshaw met, uh, I agree, it was love at first sight. Um, Beautiful woman, beautiful smile, ugly temper. Um, uh, me and Ms. Bradshaw, uh, the first six months of our relationship, it was awesome. Um, I felt like after that, um, I got to know the real Jasmine. I, uh, I felt like she always was the one that picks fights. She was the one playing the victim. And she would instigate the fights, you know, to get me started. And then when I, you know, reacted, then she'll be like, oh, I'm calling the cops. Oh, it's the end of the world, da da da, da. Um, Like, for instance, when I was supposed to come on your show two years ago, the night before, um, I was sleeping. Miss Bradshaw, you know, went out of her way, going through my phone. She saw some things she didn't like. Therefore, she woke me up by uh, slamming a chair down on me while I was sleeping. So just like any other human, I woke up and defended myself. We were fighting. She called the police, and I was taken away. I wasn't asked any questions. I wasn't asked was I hurt or anything. They just took me away in handcuffs. So after that, um, you know, we mended our relationship. We got back together. Um, I felt like, you know, our relationship could change. Um, it was great, and then it just went downhill again. Um, I just, I just saw, I just saw certain things changing, like. For instance, I mean, she wasn't giving me the love and affection that I wanted. Like, I just felt like there was somebody else. Like, she was giving the love and affection to somebody else. It had to be because she usually would give it to me. And uh, therefore, I just felt like maybe I need to find somebody that would give me love and affection. Okay. Can I say something, mm -hmm. Your Honor? First of all, Alexis is the one with the bad temper. From day one, when we started dating, mm -hmm. whenever I would suspect stuff from Alexis, little things, when I would suspect her and I would ask her about it, she would wild out on me. Mm -hmm. and... Did you hit her with a chair, ma'am, while she was asleep? Your Honor, okay. So here's the thing with that. <laughs> Earlier that day, well, she mm -hmm. did not disclose that information. Mm -hmm. When I went up to Alexis and I asked her if she was cheating on me with her ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. ask her what she did. She punched no, me I'm in the parking lot. No, I'm not asking her anything. I'm asking you about when she was asleep at night. Did you hit her with a chair? Your Honor, I threw a chair and it Good hit enough. her. I did all not right. throw it so at you... her directly. All right. Good enough. So you should be suing her for emotional distress instead of the opposite. I went up to Alexis and I asked her if she was cheating on me with her ex-girlfriend. Ask her what she did. She punched no, me I'm in the parking lot. No, I'm not asking her anything. I'm asking you about when she was asleep at night. Did you hit her with a chair? Your Honor, I threw a chair and it Good hit enough. her. I did all not right. throw it so at you... her directly. All right. Good enough. So you should be suing her for emotional distress instead of the opposite.
plaintiff, Jasmine Bradshaw, is suing her ex-girlfriend, who claims Jasmine assaulted her with a chair. Now, your breach of contract is for what? Okay, the breach of contract, I actually have it all broken down for you. Um, we have a Duke bill from when... Uh, I'm sorry, electric bill from when we lived together. How long did um, you all live together? We lived together for the full term of our lease. Mm -hmm. um, and the, basically, the balance, it came up to $1,147, which I have the bill for. And I also have a written contract that me and Alexis had wrote out um, that she would make sure that she paid her half of the balance because we were actually put on um, a payment plan. Can you see plan. your contract, please? Yeah. Do you want the bill also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Go ahead. Um, so what has happened? So basically, Alexis stopped making payments. Um, she hasn't did what she committed to to make payments on that. So that's why I'm suing her for the 582 for that bill, which is her half. Um, also, there is a Sprint bill that was placed in my name. We got phones together. Once again, I wrote another contract where Alexis yeah. would make sure she paid her half of the balance, and if she didn't, if she became delinquent on paying on that bill, she would also pay termination fee for yeah, her. You wasn't that love struck. You knew to get well, some contract. Well, see, that's the thing. Uh, like I, and that's the thing. Like, Alexis is a con artist. She hadn't so... turned you out that much. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, ma'am. What do you say to these? Well, she has two agreements and two bills. Well, Judge, um, as well, I do have an agreement that would you know. Yeah, see uh, yours. What does it say? Well, Judge, when we first got in a relationship, um, the first apartment that we had, um, the electricity net was in my name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ms. Bradshaw didn't make any payments on that at all, whatsoever, and the bill is still, um, uh, in default. So, therefore, is my that true, account was closed. Yes, we did make that bill, but the thing about that is that... that's the unpaid that... electric bill you're countersuing for? Yes, sir. All right, let's see it. What about, all right, you're suing her for $163. She's suing you for $1159. So do you want to defend that $1159? Well, I feel like uh, those contracts should be null and, fault, null and void because she hasn't made an attempt to make any payment on the bill she owes me. <clears throat> so why am I then entitled to pay her money and she hasn't even started to pay me? No, you all both keep your contracts. That's how that goes. I'll make her keep her contract with you and I'll make you keep your contract with her. If there's no defense to the amount owed or to the contract that was signed, then she gets what she wants, you get what you want. Well, in terms of, you know, financial. <laughs> I don't know about all that other stuff. <laughs> you well, probably have her back before the end of the day. <laughs> I get 30 minutes after the show. I get 30 minutes after the show. What hotel you guys in? Uh, oh, I'm in the Acne Hotel. You know where she's staying? Now I do. Yeah, you'll be over <laughs> And you'll be over there, too. I will grant both y'all your judgments. I'm not giving you any emotional distress. That was mutual combat initiated by you. And so that equals how 990. much? 990. 990. All right. You're good and good. You don't even need a calculator no more. <laughs> you must stop smoking that weed. You <laughs> now you can uh, remember stuff. Judgment for the planet. <laughs> I'm very mad because Alexis is full of BS and she knows it. She tried to make it seem like I was the one that initiated everything. But ultimately, everybody knows that Alexis has a bad temper and the fights that we had, there was a reason why the chair was thrown. <laughs> it wasn't just thrown out of the blue. And I just think it's crazy that she tried to portray me as the bad person when, since day one, she was the one bullying me in our whole relationship. So I'm done with her. I'm tired. It's been two and a half years full of bull crap. I'm done with her too, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I feel like the judge made a good decision. And I feel like no matter what a person does to you, you don't throw a chair at them. And you don't throw punches either. How about that? I throw punches after you, you throw a chair. You punches first, okay. or the chair wouldn't have well, got the judgment thrown, is Ms. made. Flowers. The judgment is made.